Hey guys, it's Eddie at Veering's RV Center here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I just wanted to do a quick video for you on the Bushwhacker 10 HD. So this is going to be their small teardrop. It's going to be about 1,300 pounds uh, unloaded. So that's not without any. That's without any water or propane and stuff on there. Uh, so once you put the propane tanks, the battery and stuff, you're going to be at about. 1400 pounds uh, so easily towable with any small SUV um, Pretty much anything that has a towing capacity of at least 1500 pounds or more um, So you shouldn't have any problem there uh, before I kind of go into specifics on the bushwhacker I kind of just wanted to cover uh, Vuring's RV Center and kind of what we do for you uh, So with any purchase this is actually going to be 12995 uh, So that's going to be our selling price on a bushwhacker 10 HD um, with that, that includes a clean prep and show through. So we're going to show you the ins and outs of this thing. Basically prep it, make sure everything is up to our standards and up to the standards of the manufacturer before you pull off the lot. That's all included in the pricing, so you're not going to pay any extra hidden fees. Uh, we also give you battery, propane, power cord, sewage, basically everything you need to do or everything you need to pull off our lot and go camping in your new camper um, and that's our commitment to you uh, it's your commitment to purchase from us and then our commitment to you to give you the best best quality service that you could find at any dealership around um, so a little bit about it so i'll kind of do a little deep dive on it uh, right here up front this is all going to be powder coated and then a covered uh, steel frame material um, up here, you're gonna have your propane tanks and your battery. That's gonna all go up front. Uh, you have a manual tongue jack and then you have a two inch ball um, that you would put into that hitch. Uh, so pretty easy, pretty lightweight. It's a light enough to use a two inch ball, which is fantastic. Um, it's really easily towable. Uh, some things about this is it is pretty off grid ready. So you're gonna have the 15 inch off road tires or off road rims, apologies. Uh, and they are gonna be aluminum. Uh, you do have up here, uh, some racks if you wanted to put any luggage, kayaks, bikes, anything you need. You probably have about uh, 150 to 200 pounds that you could toss up there without running into any issues. It might even be more from the manufacturer, but I just wanted to play it a little bit safe there. Uh, but you do have those up top. You have pitched individual torsion axles. Uh, so if you are going off grid, you are going uh, on a little bit of a bumpier path, a little bit off the beaten path, uh, th this is gonna have no problems. Uh, both of your wheels are gonna have their individ individual suspension. Um, so you'll have no problem there. Uh, kinda as we go around the back, here is you're gonna have a spare tire from us. So you kinda just have that little, that little uh, you'll need a wrench right there where you can raise and lower your spare tire. So if you run into any problems, um, pretty easy access. And we, it's all right there for you. Uh, on the left, you got your power stabilizer jacks. You'll have rear power stabilizer jack, or not power stabilizer jacks, manual stabilizer jacks, but they will be on the rear. And then you have your tongue jack, which will be on the front. With how small this is, you'll have no problem with stability. Um, so you'll have your, your three-way uh, stabilizing. But let's head over here. Show you back here, so you get a K2 cooler with this, and then you do have a sink, which is gonna have a spray port, so you're gonna get your, your detachable sprayer nozzle. Um, and then you do have a two burner cooked up, which is gonna be hooked up to your propane tank. And then you got your outdoor speakers back here, which are gonna be connected to your stereo system that's on the inside. Um, a, few, a few outlets back here, a 12 volt outlet, um, and just a nice looking kitchen. You have 24 gallons of fresh water on this bad boy, um, which is actually really unique. Even their larger models, like their 17 FD is right around 24 gallons. Um, so even how small this is, you're getting a load, a load of fresh water. So if you need to take any showers, if you need to do any cooking, clean anything, um, you're gonna have plenty of water to do so. Uh, your door is on the gas assist hinges, um, so it'll stay up. If it's raining, it's still going to cover you, so you can still do some cooking. You can still hang out while it's raining. Um, you'll have no problem there. Kind of heading over to this side. This is where your fresh water connection is going to be. Uh, your furnace exhaust. And then here is your 30 amp hookup. Because uh, you do have an AC on the inside. It's going to be a 5.5 B, uh, BTU AC. But fresh water connection. Um, just hook it up to a hose, fill up your 24 gallons. Uh, here's your discharge free furnace and then that connection. You'll get that power cord with us from your purchase. Here's the exhaust for the AC. And then you actually have a super wide door. So it's, it looks like it's a little over two feet wide. Um, let me open and close it so 
you can kind of get an idea for it. Super wide entryway, which is fantastic. And it actually is on a magnetic latch on the side. Um, and down here, something to worth note is that you do have a go power connection. So if you have a portable standalone uh, solar panel kit, you can set that up right next to your camper and it's actually wired into your camper. Um, so that's all, that's all prepped already, but let's hop inside. You're gonna have about like a queen size sleeping space. Um, one thing to, to show you before we get in there is you do have storage underneath, underneath of your bed for any of your extra stuff. But let's hop in there. I'm just gonna get right inside. So I am just sitting right here in this thing and you can kind of see the size. Um, so you actually have plenty of space to hang out uh, if you do have a rainy day. It's about a queen size mattress, but you do have a lot of headspace. Um, so you'll have you'll have no problem there. Maybe I can round and you can kind of kind of see me. I actually have a ton of space. But let me show you, you got your AC and your AC is plugged into a 110 outlet right on the side. So it's just going to be like a typical like window AC, which they're going to use on, on a lot of campers nowadays, uh, just because it's easy, convenient, and you can plug it right into an outlet. Um, you're going to have a ton of storage up top. Open these up for any extra clothes, any things that you need on the campsite. And those will slab and latch. Right here, you're gonna have uh, ducts for your furnace. Um, so I'm not sure which one is the intake and which one is the outtake. I think this is the intake and then this is gonna be where it's gonna be blowing out. But you do have a propane furnace. Um, so you're gonna be fine staying warm all night. You'll have no issue right there. Uh, you do have a 110 outlet on the right. And then here is your converter box. Um, so that's just gonna be right in the camper. It's gonna contain all of your fuses that run to all of your outlets, your AC, all that stuff. Um, that's actually right in the camper, so no problem with easy access. Um, here is actually a TV backer. So if you wanted to put a small, like, 15 to 20 inch TV right there, you can actually mount it, and you do have cable hookups right there on the left. Here is your Bluetooth stereo, uh, which is going to be wired to your outdoor speakers. And you can get some, uh, get some channel stations, FM, AM, whatever works for you. Um, down here is going to be like your carbon monoxide and, and gas alarm. So if you did like for God forbid run into any issues, um, that's going to tell you if there is anything getting in the camper. Um, so that's really nice to have. Uh, and then you do have another 110 outlet right there on the left. Then up here, here's another, another storage compartment. And then we did already see the AC that's over here on the right. Here's going to be the controls for your furnace. Uh, so basically your AC is going to run off your AC. The controls are all on the front and then right here is your furnace. So you can just adjust it for cooler, warmer, whatever temperature you want it to be at. Um, and then on the left is you do have a light switch. Right here is going to be a 12 volt fan. So that's going to run right off your battery. It's right in the top of your camper. Um, so you can open up the vent fan that's right up top and then it is like a nice large venting fan so it'll pull air in or blow it out whichever you prefer and the controls are right here on the right which is really nice um so you'll have no problem with ventilation here's just smoke detector that's gonna be right up top stand in pretty much every single camper just as a safety feature now let me just spin around and show you the front real quick up front, you're going to have sliding storage. Pretty convenient, pretty easy. You do have uh, speakers on the inside as well, on the left and also on the right. So you can uh, have your stereo playing on the outside and also on the inside. Here are USB ports. Um, so if you're plugging in your phone, plugging in anything that runs off of USB charge, that's just gonna go right off your battery. So you'll have no problem uh, keeping your stuff charged while you're out on the campsite or boondocking. Uh, just a couple extra lights up front. Some extra storage right up top. Sorry, someone's, someone's driving a super fast car right outside, which is super loud. But anyways, <laughs> and then you also get a fire extinguisher too. Um, but let me face view and just show you me getting out of the camper. So, I mean, I'm a pretty wide guy uh, and I have plenty of room getting in and out. You have an awesome, huge, uh, huge entryway. So just to show you, this is me kind of just sitting in it. 
and I even have some more headspace, so it's actually like deceivingly large. Um, so just wanted just wanted to do a nice video for you um, as you're checking them out. Uh, again, this is the Bushwhacker 10 HD. We do have them in stock. Um, they do go super fast because of the price point and how accessible and how easily they are to tow with basically any vehicle. Um, so if you're interested in one, definitely give me a call at 616-965-9625 and we'll get you in it. All right, thanks for checking in.